Child Roland and his brothers both are playing with a ball. And there's their sister, Bird Ellen, in the middle of the ball. Child Roland tracks it with his foot, he knocks it with his knee. He kicks the ball over the church where nobody can see. Bird Ellen round about the church to where the ball was gone. Long they wait, longer still, she does not return. They look east, they look west, they look all around. Long they wait, longer still, she does not return. So sad the hearts of brothers three, with doubt, pain and concern. Long they wait, longer still, but she does not return. <laughs> The oldest brother goes to his mother. Our sister is lost. I will bring her back. And he goes into the green wood and finds the cave where the wizard Merlin. Your sister has been taken by the king of the elves because she went around the church, widdishings, anti-clockwise against the sun. It will be hard to bring her back. Listen to what you must do and what you must not do. And the oldest brother, he listens. And he sets off into the dark greenwood. A long time he has gone on his dangerous journey. Two brothers remain. So sad the hearts of brothers too, without pain and concern. Long they wait, longer still, but they do not return. <laughs> the second brother goes to his mother. I will bring back my sister, I will find my oldest brother. And he too goes to Merlin, and goes on a perilous journey into the dark greenwood. Child Roland, the youngest, remains alone with his mother. So sad the heart of the child Roland, with doubt, pain and concern. Long he waits, longer still, but they do not return. <laughs> Mother, let me go. I may be young, but I am brave. Child, I cannot let you go. You are my youngest. Your older brothers and your sister I have lost, but I will not lose you. But he pulls himself away from his mother. Give me my father's sword. And re she reaches down from above the fireplace. His father's sword, undefeated in battle. And child Roland puts the sword in his belt. And with his mother weeping, he leaves into the green wood, to the cave of Merlin. And Merlin, in that cave, he looks. He looks into his crystal. Child, your sister and your brothers are caught in the dark tower by the king of the elves. It is hard to bring them back. Do not go. But I see you well. Listen to what you must do and what you must not. You must kill every elf that you meet. And remember these words. Bite no bit, nor drink no drop. Bite no bit, nor drink no drop. Bite no bit, nor drink no drop, until you all return. Child Roland, he leaves the wizard Merlin. And he steps in the dark green. He goes along and along he goes. He goes along some more. He goes along and along he goes, further than before. And ahead of him on the path, he sees a tall stranger with green eyes. He has with him a herd of horses, bony, skeletal. He steps up to the horse herd. Which way to the dark tower of the king of the elves? Follow the path. Ask the cowherd. Child Roland 
looks into his green eyes and he knows this is an elephant. He draws his father's sword. He cuts the head from the horse herd and it rolls upon the ground. He goes along and along he goes. He goes along and along he goes. He goes along some more. He goes along and along he goes, further than before. And ahead of him on the path, there is the tower, short and round. Which way to the dark tower of the king of the elves? I don't know. Follow the path and you will meet the henwife. Ask her. And Child Roland looks into the eyes of the cowherd and his eyes are bright green. And he draws his father's sword and he cuts the head from the cowherd and it rolls upon the ground. He goes along and along he goes, he goes along and some more. He goes along and along he goes, further than before. And ahead of him on the path is the henwife. She is old and bent, with a hood over her face. Which way to the dark tower of the king of the elves? Do not go there, child, none return. I must, old woman, help me. It will be hard to bring back your sister and your brothers. Follow the path, and you will come to the dark tower, but there is no door. Pass around three times, anti-clockwise, against the sun, with your shins. And each time cry, door open, open door, let me in, and on the third time, you may enter. After that, I cannot say. And he thanks the old henwife, and he steps away along the path. Has he forgotten? He looks back, and from under her hood, she is peering at and her eyes are shining green. And he draws his father's sword, and he cuts the head from the henwife, and it rolls upon the ground. He goes along, and along he goes, he goes along some more. He goes along, and along he goes, further than before. And there ahead of him, Rising into the skies, the dark power of black crystal. It reaches into the swirling clouds of the sky, so high, and there is no door. He goes anti-clockwise around the tower, and on the first path he calls, Door open, open door, let me in. A second time around the tower he goes, and he calls, Door open, open door, let me in. Third time, around the dark tower. And he calls, he cries, Door open, open door, let me in. And a door appears in the side of the tower. He steps into the darkness. But the door is closed behind him. He cannot see. But slowly, his eyes grow accustomed to the dark. And he can see a long passageway with a green light at the end. His heart beating. Child Rona. He goes along, and along he goes. He goes along some more. He goes along, and along he goes, and he walks right through that door. He finds himself in a great chamber. He sees no ceiling, just clouds above. But there are walls of gold and silver. There are columns encrusted with jewels, diamonds, rubies, emeralds. And in the middle of the clouds, he sees a green light spinning, sending its hue throughout the chamber. And in the middle of that vast chamber, as great as any cathedral, there is a couch, a gilded couch. And on the couch sits his sister, Bird Ellen, 
with her long hair and a comb of crystal in her hand. He steps up to his sister and she looks at him and her eyes are Alas, my youngest brother, why stayed you not at home? Oh, 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 the day that ever you were born, for when the king of Elfland comes, your life will be no bodies upon the ground, their faces pale, their arms crossed on their chests. And he sits down beside his sister on the gilded couch. Oh sister, I am hungry and I am thirsty. He has forgotten. And she cannot warn him, for she is enchanted. She goes from the chamber and returns with a glass bowl filled with bread and milk. And she offers it to him. And taking it, he sees in the wall the eyes of Merlin gazing. And he remembers, bite no bit, drink no drop. Until you all return. And he throws that glass bowl down and it smashes into a thousand pieces. And from outside the chamber, he hears the voice of the king of the elves. Rise, rise, child Roland. Rise, rise and run. For now I smell child Roland's blood. Child Roland's day is done, and into the chamber sweeps the king of the elves. He is huge, he is dressed from head to foot in green. He wields in one hand an axe, and in the other a club. And fierce, with blazing green eyes, so the child Roland cannot look, he attacks the boy. But child Roland draws his father's sword. And brave Child Roland, with his father's undefeated sword, he goes at the king of the elves. The king, he turns to a raging bull. Roland drives him back. The king, he turns to a nest of snakes. Roland cuts them through. The king, he turns to a raging bear. Roland. Drive him back! And Roland stands with the point of his father's sword at the throat of the king of the elves. And the king of the elves, the mighty king of the elves, begs for his life. What shall I do? Do I kill him? Do I kill him? Yes? Yes, of course. Why? Why? Because if, uh, if the elf confess, you have to die like that John. Kill every elf. As Merlin told me, if I kill him, what will happen to my brothers? My sister? I spare your life. Give back to me my brothers and my sister. And slowly the elf rises to his feet, his eyes blazing green. He steps over to Bird Ellen and from her hair he takes the crystal comb. 
her eyes change. They are no longer green. Mm -hmm. And he goes to a cabinet, and from it he takes a glass vial with red liquor. And he takes drops of that liquor and puts them onto the lips of the two sleeping brothers, onto the eyelids, the ears, onto the palms of the hands, the soles of the feet, the solar plexus. Slowly, slowly the colour returns to their cheeks. Their eyelids flicker and open. <sighs> Breath of life. Rise to your feet, says Rowan. Rise, my brothers, and follow me. Come, my sister, and look at no elf as we leave. And they walk along the passageway, away from that chamber, out of the dark tower they step. Through the greenwood they walk and past the henwife. Her head leaps upon her shoulders. Her eyes look at them, blazing green, but they do not return her stare. On they go, past the cowherd, on past the horse herd, and they do not look <coughs> in the eye as they look with their green eyes once more upon their shoulders. On and on through the green wood, Roland, the man, takes them. And when he gets back to the church, there is his mother waiting. My four children returned to me. Roland. She takes them in her arms and she weeps tears of joy. And she makes Bird Helen promise that she will never walk around the church. Widdishes ever again.